entertainment purpose only. It doesn't mean to hurt any. And don't take it seriously. They say relationships need time apart. Don't spend every day with your girlfriend. You agree or disagree with that? Uh, hold on. Say, <laughs> do I say that one more time? They say relationships need time apart. Don't spend every day with your girlfriend. Agree or disagree? I, I agree to a certain degree. Um, yes, you do need time apart because you don't want to you don't want to spend every moment. No, no, I disagree. I want to spend every moment with my partner. That's my best friend. I literally yesterday, literally yesterday, it was a couple that yeah. um, that came in here and they've been married 57 years. And I asked them, I'm like, man, what what is it like? What is it that keep you all together? Like what? How? You know what? How? He said, I made my best friend. And that right there said it all. Said everything I needed to hear. You made your best friend. So, yes, I want to spend every moment with my partner because that's my best friend. Like, if, 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 I, can't be with, if I can't be around you every day, then what's the point of being together? You know, if I can't see you every day, Make make you smile, make you laugh, make you happy. Even when we mad at each other, I still want to come back to you. You right. feel me? I still want to. I still want to come back to you. I still want to know that I could fall back on you. You feel me? So right. yeah, I want to spend every day with my partner every day. Because if I can't if I can't have nobody, I at least have you. You know what I'm now, saying? What, what about the fact that they say the absence make the heart grow fond? Because in the beginning they say. The space can help you miss each other. You know what I'm saying? Especially if y'all not engaged or, or whatever. So you, know you go to you, so you go to work, right? You go to work eight hours of the day. That's the yeah. all the time we need apart. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. right. Hey, look, I see you later. I, boom, I see you later. I'm going to work. I right, catch you later. You know what I mean? You you can miss me eight hours of the day. I'm gonna still come back to see you. Are you you talking about people who are related, or living together, or not living together? You think they should? See I'm talking each other? about both. I'm talking about both. Okay. Now, okay. if you now if now let's say let's say if let's say if you are not living together, like you are not living together, and y'all just mm -hmm. y'all just a couple, then that's a, that's the space you need at your house, because mm -hmm. we're not living together. So, yeah, you can miss me, huh? Yes, I was just in my car. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was me. Yeah, that was me. That's that's the part that separate us right there. You got your mm -hmm. space, I got my space. But when you see me, I see you, we connect. If we're living together, I go to work, you go to work. Eight hours of the day, eight plus hours of the day, I'm gone. Now, now, what you do in the absence of me not being around you, that's on me and that's on you. If you choose mm -hmm. to if you choose to creep around and do stuff that you know is not right. And you got to deal with that, that the consequences of treat doing me wrong, just as just as bad as I got to treat it falls on me too. If I do anything slimy, so mm -hmm. that just that just come with the territory. I agree. I totally agree. I totally agree. Though. Okay. 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 Cool. 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 Bit. 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 I totally agree with that. Uh, they say toxic women enjoy dragging you down in life. Agree or disagree? If if a person enjoy that, then that person needs to be with that toxic individual. Period. If if you if you like it, if misery loves company, then hey, then that's what it is. Cause it cause that toxic word could fall on a male and a female. But you but you you going off a of female though, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anything toxic can bring somebody down. But females, absolutely. Absolutely. And you don't need that. No, don't nobody need that for their energy. Okay. Right cool. you. So they say mystery is what keeps a woman coming back to you and wanting to figure you out but can't fully agree or disagree. I agree. Because well, that goes back to the other question. If you see in there every day, especially if y'all not living together, do you feel like that mystery of you goes away? <laughs> But that's the eight hours that you that you separated yourself. Okay, 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 fair, okay. It's it's good 
it's good to keep a, a person on their toes. And and it, and it is good to fully to know a person, but not to know them fully because if you know that person, then you could, it, it's never going to be fun. You got to always keep the relationship fresh. I know that based off my own experiences. I got to learn how to keep relationships fresh. I got to learn how to keep my relationship at a, at a balance. Because if, mm-hmm. it, if, if, if it goes like this and like this, there's no there's no happiness there. Or if it goes like this, you know, it's some something's not off, something's off. You know what I'm saying? So, right. and, I, and I'm speaking on the I'm speaking on the the love part. But love is 50-50, But you gotta also make sure that love it, it balance. It plays a balance because you're gonna have these moments when it is like this, and it is like this. But it can't stay like that. You feel me? It can't stay like that. So it gotta, it has to meet is 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 balance. So that way that person can be like, dang man, I, I to this day I still love him more. Dang, I still love her, or dang, I still want to be with her, no matter when it get like, like this and it get like this. You feel me? Mm-hmm. It gotta always come here. Got you. Okay. Uh, does, that make, does that make any sense? I I hear what you're saying. I agree with that. I agree. Uh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take some tips from what you just said though. So I'm gonna have to reevaluate not seeing. Them. Well, yeah, I'm gonna have to take some tips from that. Okay. Uh, they say a woman can go from a six to a nine in a matter of hours of makeup. You agree or disagree? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I just saw a video of a woman, and I love all women, but I saw I saw a video of a woman. Natural women. Actual women. It was an actual woman. Okay. She did not look. Like, I don't want to discredit her, but she went from a, a zero to a ten with makeup. I'm like, dang, you could do that with makeup? Like, yeah. And then I saw one that was a six, and she went from a ten with, with makeup. That's what I'm saying. A lot of these women can easily wipe off their beauty with the fucking wet with wipe. The wet wow. wipe. With the wet wipe. It's a lot like, of these oh women God. are not eights. They're really fours and fives. They're really fours and fives. And they got a bunch of these fives out here think they the shit because they got a bunch of simp ass dudes validating them in their DMs, trying to have sex with them and put dick in them. And they think because somebody want to have sex with me, that means they want to be with me. No, they don't. They just want to be inside you. They just want to use you, dumb dumb. And that's and that's bad, bad for a female because now you just created a soul tie that you didn't really want to have for real, for real. You just in an unwanted pregnancy that a child didn't ask to be here. Now he here. There you go. That's the, that's the society today, though. That's the world we're living in today. You know, sexual, um, sexual ties is is controlling the world because of the lust of the eyes, and not the um, and not the the heart. It don't start. It never starts with the heart. It always starts with the eyes. It's it's it's, it's bad, bro. It's really bad. Okay. Okay. Oh, they say a woman who takes longer to reply, flakes on dates, and is less affectionate is losing interest in the relationship. Agree or disagree? Say that one more time, bro. A uh, woman who takes longer to reply, flakes on dates, and is less affectionate is losing interest in the relationship. Agree or disagree? Because she got options. That's why. Mm. She thinks she got. She, she thinks she got. She thinks she got. She think that she is bigger than what she she is. So yeah, I agree. But if a person, if, but if she, if she interested, that's just like a man. If a man, if a man know what he wants, a woman already know what she wants. If that, if that woman doesn't feel like he could do what she's looking for, she's not going to entertain him. If that man, if that man feel like she, she can't do for him, he's not going to entertain her. It's just what it is. It is what it is. Females already know what they want already. They already know what they want already. Okay. Just like a man. Just like. A man that's that's why that's why marriage is that's why marriage is, isn't a thing no more because they don't believe in that they just want one thing but they just want I, one thing I, I i think for the most part a lot of marriage in because one i think they might be spending too much this is my opinion they spend too much time before they're engaged or married you see what i'm saying yeah. So they're already losing the fun of the mystery. If I'm seeing you constantly every single day or every chance that we were losing our end of the singleness and chasing our goals, I think because of people didn't heal from the pre-trauma before they got with the person they married. So any trauma, I feel like people bring on baggage. They bring it on hurt. Because hurt people hurt people. Hurt people hurt people. 
And last and not loosely, they had too much sex outside of marriage before they got married. We're both Christian men. This is what I, I read this book. I believe this right here. If more people waited to have sex with their spouse, the divorce rate would be declining and less divorce rate and bastard kids made. I agree. I agree. I totally agree. Because you're you're waiting. You're waiting. You're waiting. That's the key word, wait. People don't want to wait for nothing. They always they always want to go for something. And that's okay, but sometimes you have to sit and wait. Wait. Be patient. That's the key word. People don't want to be patient. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they, if they want it now, they want, and it's like, what's your thoughts on this, though? When people are single, they want to be they want to be married, and when married, they want to be single. How do you feel about that part? That is a great question, to be honest, um, because... Everybody want what they can't have, but then when they have it, they want it. They don't want it no more. Everybody won't. Everybody, because social media really, it 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 killed a lot of. It just it just ruined a lot of people's lives, literally, because they see stuff on social media and be like, I want that, I want that, I want that. And then when they get it, they don't want it no more, or they take advantage of it, or they mistreat it, or don't know how to handle it properly. Mm -hmm. It's like. Stop asking for stuff that you're not ready to to receive. Stop doing that. You feel me? Like what God is gonna, what God is gonna give you, He's gonna give you so so you can handle it. But when when you 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 press yourself in believing that it's yours, it's not really yours because you're not ready to have it in the first place. You know right, what I mean? Right. Well, people, I, I, I think for the most part, I, I think. I feel like this 